Kenya is home to the world's best long-distance athletes. Kenya's first sweet taste of success began at the Rome Olympics in 1964 when the first Kenyan won a bronze in the 800 meters. Four years later at the Mexico Olympics, another Kenyan won the first gold in the 10,000 meters, but it was Kipchoge Kano's win in Mexico of three medals, two bronze and a gold in the 1500 meters that was unforgettable. From then on, Kenyan champions have been unstoppable. They have stamped their names in the Olympics, Commonwealth Games, and in prestigious marathons such as Boston, New York, and London. They have bagged big money in road races across the globe, leaving no doubt who leads the pack. Equity Bank is the home of champions. Since 1984, the bank has demonstrated that Kenyans are winners. We opened our doors to all Kenyans, especially the ones that the industry said were unbankable. Their passion and dedication has won us the prize. It's another reason we are proud to be Kenyans. Equity Bank, the listening, caring financial partner. Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Tonight we're talking to John Kithaka. He's the chairman of Fountain Enterprises Program. Um, welcome back to the show. Uh, before we went on the break, you were explaining to us who Fountain Enterprises is, um, what kind of programs that you have, and um, the, um, you know, the, the exciting things that you have even in, in investment. And um, I promised our viewers that you would tell them where you're located in Kenya. To date we are celebrating that we have a branch in Arok, we have a branch now in Nairobi property, we have a branch in Kirinyaga, we have a branch in Embu, we have a branch in Chuka, a branch in Meru, a branch in Maua, and a branch in Anyuki. And members are growing day by day. And we have also been able to open offices, and we have now a staff, at least in all those places, and we have uh, st five staff in our head office here in Nairobi. I'm sure the people watching from Mombasa, you know, Malindi, Lodwa, and are asking, what about us? When are we getting our branches? I would say that the doors in the fountain are open, and I am proudly saying that uh, even now we have members in most places. Actually, like, uh, I would say like in Mombasa we have more than 10 people. In a place like in Akuru we have about, uh, about 32. And we are rolling out as members increase the need to open an office. And also, people who come and take up the leadership say, I am ready to lead a branch in this area. We just look at you and assess you and you discover your people, people can follow. We have no problem. Tell me about some challenges. Are there any challenges that you faced? I would say the challenges have really been there because trying to tell somebody to think otherwise of what has been put in him for 20, 30 years is not easy. And it, has, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of consistency, and I would say that is a burden. Actually, it's out of burden. It is out of feeling that you have a calling to change your life. What would you say are some of the key lessons learned um, being the chairman of this huge organization? I think I've just learned two things I can highlight here. One is that anybody has a chance to become what they want to become in life. It just takes you to own it up. Somebody said, the far you see is the far you go. Uh, another thing I can say I've learned in Feb is that men supposedly are the leaders of this country. But they are so skeptical. They are so hard to start something, but they want something to be started, they come running after it and they want to take over. And I thank God for women. And you find FEP has about 68% are women. And even in our top leadership, you find it is dominated by women. I keep on reminding people about the statement Margaret Thatcher said put in 1990, that if you want things said, tell men to say it. If you want things done, tell the women. People watching this program and, and thinking, you know, 
your idea is resonates with an idea they've always had and that watching this show and they're thinking how can we how can i network with you how can we get more information how can we join you know um what would you tell them i would only try to say that currently where our offices are we have our hand office here in Nairobi, and our office is in Tumaini House. That's along Moy Avenue on that floor. That's why we have our head office for Fountain Enterprises Program. You can make all the inquiries there. Then we have our offices that are running. One is in Narok. One is now in Nairobi now. We have an office in Kirinyaga. That's in Kirigoya Town. We have an office in Embu Town. We have an office in Chuka Town. An office in Meru Town. We have an office in Maua Town and an office in Anyoki Town. And others are going to come as we move on. So currently we can tell them to actually call those offices and they'll be able to be informed more about Fountain Enterprises Program. John, thank you very much for coming to share with us about Fountain Enterprises Program. I'm sure it's been an, it's, I mean, it's been an enlightenment to me to know that um, there is an organization out there that is making a difference in people's lives, not only here in Kenya, but abroad as well. And I wish you well at Fountain. Thank you. You're